We're being blasted by the sun and it's not going to end anytime soon. Solar storms are constantly happening these days, these weeks, the months to come. So what does it mean for us? Well, headaches, muscle pain, all kinds of discomfort, also emotional. So what can you do? How can you make this less painful, less disruptive for you? Well, this and more in this video. Like, subscribe and share. Hi, my name is Lotfi Mrat. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you what you can do to make these times, these months, maybe even, let's say, two years less painful, less tiring, more productive, more joyful. So, I do not need to explain to you how solar storms work. Um, there will be a link in the description, if I don't forget, where you can read about it. And it's on my website and it will also redirect to even more data if that's what you need. The most important thing is that we are electric beings, like I said already many times. If you had some biology at school, you know we work with electricity. All our cells work with electricity, with electromagnetism. And so being hit by solar storms does affect us. Our computer chips are nowadays protected. Um, back in the days, satellites would literally burn out. Nowadays, it doesn't happen anymore unless they're really, really old. But we don't have so much of that protection unless you want to walk around with a tinfoil hat on your head. But, yeah. So, what you can do is stay hydrated. Very important. This is your friend, not coffee. Coffee dehydrates. This with a few grains of salt per glass, a small pinch. Just enough to have electrolytes, but not too much to taste it. This is how water is actually being absorbed by the body. You can also put a slice of lemon or squeeze a bit of a lemon inside. You can have a can of water with uh, some fruit in it. Can be any kinds of fruit that you like. Oh. Hey, I, I should stay hydrated as well. I'm talking so. And this will help you to keep your brain from dehydrating. And your brain is the biggest accumulation of neurons. So there's the most electric activity up there. That's why we get headaches when the weather changes when there are electromagnetic storms. This is why you should not live next to power lines or gigantic generators or being in the blast direction of a mobile uh, phone tower or any other sort of radiating antenna. Radars are horrible. You should stay away, far away from them. Even if they officially direct them upwards, there's still a lot of electromagnetism spreading there. Also, grounding. Literally physical grounding. Bare feet on the soil if you can. If the weather or the location does not allow for that, then put your hands on the soil or on a plant, preferably on the trunk of a tree. 10, 20 seconds with both hands. Take deep breaths and release. Release the excess of electrons in your body. Release the excess of electromagnetism in your body. Also, energetic grounding helps. Meaning, meditation, deep breathing. I will uh, put a 
link up there for a video and also in the description um, how three deep breaths changed my life sleep enough very important you need to rest make time for it take a nap if you can during the day make sure you eat healthy food not the processed crap not too much carbohydrates but more raw vegetables if possible raw fruit don't squeeze an orange eat the orange definitely no orange juice out of a package because they add a lot of crap in that it's already processed so it's poison start cleaning up your body this is a perfect opportunity for you to do this basically the universe is forcing you to start taking good care of your shit hmm i'm saying it this way because most people are not really taking good care most people are lacking in many areas of their lives so now life is forcing you either you do that or you're going to have constant headaches feel bad need to take medication which you know all these pills they all have side effects because they're basically poison unless you find natural remedies but why not prevent all the problems by having a healthy lifestyle Stay in motion, move, exercise, walk. Not everyone can exercise, fine. Go have a walk. Preferably in a park or in nature. But get your body moving. Most of us spend way too much time sitting on our lazy asses. Even if we're very active with our hands on the keyboards or mousing. No, we need to move. Take a dog to force you to get out at least twice a day. Make a child to force you to go at least one hour per day to the playground and walk around with him and yeah, make sure shit doesn't happen, especially when they're little, you cannot just sit on a bench. But do something, find a friend, go have a walk and talk or listen to a podcast, have your phone calls while walking, catching up with friends. When I do sessions, Whenever the weather allows for it, I say, okay, let's do it in the park. Let's go for a walk and we'll have the session. It's much healthier than just sitting on a screen, in front of a screen and talking. Also being in nature helps you relax more. You better get the point that you need to get. You learn your life lessons much faster. So these are a few things you can do. No need to take supplements or other things, just simple basics. Make sure your basic needs are met, the basic needs of your body. And listen to your body. Your body will tell you what you need. I hope this helps. If you have questions, contact me. If you need support in any way, if you need help learning to meditate, I couldn't in the beginning. I mean, years ago, I, I hated it, but I found a way to do it. And so I can teach you as well. If you're dealing with certain issues that start to come up now because of all this agitation, you feel like, ah, and this thing keeps coming up, or you feel this blockage in your life, I can help. And I will teach you how you can do these things yourself in the future. Because I don't want you to depend on me for the rest of your life. No, I'll help you now in the process. I'll teach you how to do things by yourself. So, take action. Take good care of yourself. Have a wonderful day. Like, subscribe and share.